Hey, how are you guys? I'm sorry I'm late, but I am back. So let's start from where we left last time. We did a complete migration of Koha records using Mark export and import procedure, but we saw that it was little time consuming and also not very foolproof method of migration because it was limited to only bibliographic data. So in this video, we will look on backup or migration process using SQL utility, which is much more pragmatic and robust and it works within blink of an eye. Uh, I mean, not literally with blink of an eye, but it takes significantly less time than Mark's tagging and Mark import process, you know. So let's get going. First off, we will start with our old Koha server, which is Ubuntu 16.4. And this is where we will export our SQL data from. Okay, so let's fire up a terminal from here. I want to show you how things are done with the command line utility. And here we will type uh, mysql mysql space minus u and then uh, name of the user which is root in our case uh, minus e and then put in the password for the root user. Okay, now we have logged in into the database engine. Let's check how many databases it has. We'll use this command show space databases semicolon. Okay. So it has four databases now and we'll be focusing on this one, Koha underscore library. Let's select this, uh, use this command, use space Koha underscore library semicolon. All right, so our database is selected. Let's see what are the tables in this database with show tables command. Okay, and uh, this database has these many tables, like it has this biblio table and authority records all of the stuff which a normal Koha database has. Let's exit from here from now and uh, uh, we'll use MySQL dump utility to export all these uh, database into a SQL file. Just type in mysql dump then uh, specify the user using which you want to export it and then type in the password. While you put in the password you might also notice that this shows the password in plain text so make sure nobody is watching over your shoulder and then type in the uh, name of the database which we want to export and with the pipe operator i'll specify xz as the compression format because i want to export a compressed file and then i'll specify the output location where i want this file to be saved and this is my location in the downloads folder i'll name the file as koha underscore library dot sql dot xz because this is a compressed file as soon as I press enter, it'll take only few minutes to fetch everything from the database tables and make it as a single container file, which will be saved in our downloads folder here. And because it is exporting all the tables from the database, we'll be able to restore all our patron record, issue return data, even the settings we had on the old system. So the command has executed successfully and here's the file it has produced. If we go to properties, it says this is a compressed archive with a file size of 7.2 MB. We can also uncompress it here uh, to see the actual SQL dump file which is within this container but there is no need to do it now. So let's close everything here and move to the new server where this data needs to be restored. Okay, so here we are on the new server and we will now restore the SQL data using the same command line tool. So let's fire up the terminal and quickly switch to super user. So everything is done with the elevated privileges. I'll issue this command sudo su type in the password for root user. Okay, now we are on the root prompt and uh, we'll issue this command mysql minus u name of the user and then password. And we'll have a quick look on how many databases we have for now. All right, so we have these three databases only. Let's create a new one for Koha where the data will be restored. And we will use this command create database and then the name of database we want to create. I'll name it same as old Koha underscore library. Okay, so the blank database is created. Let's quickly have a look, show databases. And here is the new and blank database which it has created. Okay, so everything is done. For now, we can quit from this MySQL prompt. Type in this command quit, or you can also use exit. Okay, fine. 
and on this new server i'll browse to the location where i have copied and saved the sql dump file i have placed it in here in the documents folder and uh, i have these two files uh, actually two versions of the same file one is compressed and another is uncompressed and now from the terminal window we will ingest this sql dump file into the blank database which we just created i'll use this command sudo mysql uh, minus u user root minus p koha and with this inward angular bracket we can specify the location of the dump file which we want to ingest or restore into the blank database i have these two so let's use any of this i'll uh, specify the location here which starts with uh, root then home and then the user directory which is jesse and it's in the documents folder and then name of the file and uh, after pressing enter it will ask for the password i'll provide the root password okay so while it executes we can sit back and relax while the system uploads the entire data and appropriate table wherever they need it to be placed this will surely take less time than the mark import method and also it will restore not only the bibliographic records but other koha system data as well like uh, pattern records issue return data and koha system settings perfect it literally took two and a half minutes and the command has returned no errors which means our data has been imported successfully but you cannot straight away go and log in into the koha admin screen we first need to upgrade the table schema so let's clear some memory cache first by restarting the service and uh, okay so cache is cleared now we have to run this command which is sudo koha dash update dash schema and then the name of our instance which in our case is library uh, now let me explain why this is even required see with every consecutive update of any software the developers make slight changes in the database schema for example they may add some new fields or maybe remove some old or obsolete tables now because the Koha version of our old system and the new server was different, even the tiniest variation in the database schema may cause a system malfunction. So it is always a good idea to play it safe and run an schema upgrade whenever you migrate or restore your database. Now everything at database part is done but Koha also has an inbuilt search engine which is called Zebra. And in order to perform the searches quickly and correctly, we need to make sure that database entries are properly indexed. To do this, we need to issue this command koha dash rebuild dash zebra then minus v switch for verbose and minus f to index the full collection. And then specify the name of instance, which in our case is library. Basically with this command Zebra will go through each and every record in the database and will make an index of each searchable entry so that whenever we search for any keyword in Koha it always retrieves the required information instantly and with maximum precision. Okay, so everything went nice and smooth. Now it's time to launch the Koha interface on our new server. Let's open the browser and type in our Koha URL. Let me quickly provide my credentials. Jesse and this is my password. Okay, let's click on login. And we are in, which means everything is perfect. If I go to Koha about page, I can show you that I'm using Koha version 20.05 
and it has all the latest modules and dependencies installed in it. Apart from this, let's quickly perform a catalog search. We'll search this book, The Bibliography of the British Period. And we can see we have all these results from the catalog. Let's click on this title and we have the bibliographic record and the item record as well. Uh, let's have a look on something else. Okay, let's go to reports and here let's see if there is any saved report. Mm, see, uh, this is the report framework which we already had in our old Koha server. And when we migrated the database, the entire thing got shifted to the new server. And when we run it, it produced a total count of uh, 11,406 items in the catalog which means nothing is left out and we have all the bibliographic records and all the other authority records and you know system settings everything is shifted to the new server you can check with the patrons if you have any or in the administration screen you'll see everything is same as it was in the old koha server like all the libraries or the library groups you have all the systems as they were in the old Koha server. So friends, this is how you can migrate the Koha database from one server to another and also same practice is followed for backup and restore. I hope this has been helpful for you guys. If there is any query or suggestion, just post a comment below or write me an email. And please like the video if you liked it or dislike if you disliked it and also make sure you subscribe the channel because in the next video I will show a simplified method of this backup restore exercise using a simple graphical user interface. So thank you for watching. Take care now. Bye bye then.